there are two um, main types of genetic testing that need to be considered. Uh, the first is called germline testing, in other words, looking for inherited gene mutations that can um, predispose patients to getting cancer in the first place, some of which can be used to make therapeutic decisions. And the second type of genetic testing is called somatic testing, also known as tumor testing, where we are looking for mutations in the, the tumor specimen itself. And again, some of those can also be used uh, to make decisions about treatments. And um, the, 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 the two newest things on, on the guidelines related to that are that uh, in terms of the germline inherited testing, this is being recommended for every metastatic prostate cancer patient, so that's a broad spectrum, and also for every patient that has high risk localized non-metastatic prostate cancer. So the only people right now that the guidelines are not recommending germline inherited testing for are men that have low risk or very low risk localized prostate cancer. And then the second aspect, which is the tumor testing, who should we do tumor somatic testing in? Um, the guidelines say that anybody that has lymph node metastases, also called N1 disease, or distant metastases, also known as M1 disease, should also go tumor, undergo tumor genetic testing, somatic testing.